It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and our first high goes to the sun and the moon getting together to put on quite a show for millions of us in those cool glasses down here on Earth. Monday's once-in-a-generation total solar eclipse, where the moon covers the sun, was a big draw from the beaches of Mazatlan, Mexico, to Central Park here in New York City. The luckiest Eclipse fans were in the path of totality, where they saw the incredible sight of the moon blocking out the sun completely for several minutes. Rochester, New York was in that prize path. A retired teacher there named Patrick Moriarty held an Eclipse party nearly half a century in the making. Back in 1978, Mr. Moriarty told the ninth graders in his Earth Science class to mark April 8, 2024 on their calendars so they could get together to watch the total solar eclipse. Now, if you thought they were joking about that, check this out. Mr. Moriarty reunited 46 years later with more than 100 of his former students who traveled from all over the country for the celebration. It's not about the eclipse. It's about you guys being here to share this time with my family. I wish every educator had this. I am so privileged and thank you so much for being here. That is so great and I love a good science teacher. Meanwhile in Arkansas, animals got into the festivities with the appropriate safety gear, of course. A man named Todd Fendley and his pet chicken Gertrude with matching pairs of eclipse glasses. Fendley says Gertrude was so excited about her first solar eclipse she laid an egg. All right, the United States will have small peaks at a total solar eclipse in 2033 and 2044, but the next big show across the continental U.S. comes on August 12th, 2045. So mark your calendars. Our first low goes to an unruly commuter engaged in horseplay on a train platform in Australia. In fairness, the commuter in question is a horse. A racehorse, to be exact, that apparently escaped from a nearby stable and made its way into the Warwick Farm Station near Sydney. Security footage shows the horse trotting up and down the platform in his raincoat, much to the surprise, as you can imagine, of his fellow travelers. When a train finally pulls in, our equine friend appears to consider boarding before hoofing it out of there. The horse eventually was corralled and returned safely to his farm. That's wild, but it would be about the seventh wildest thing on the list of strange things you see on the subway here in New York. Our next high on this Masters Sunday goes to the breakout young star making a name at Augusta National. She is nine-year-old Dakota, daughter of two-time Masters champion Bubba Watson. Dakota put on a truly dazzling display of putting while caddying for dad at the annual par three contest. Barely greens and regulation, just nudge it. scoring just average, nudge it. Just, goes, just, just everything, approach. everything, everything. Phenomenal year from Tita Green. Yeah! <laughs> nice touch there. Dakota shyly waving to the crowd there after a beautiful putt, but she's just getting started. Rolls in another long one. The crowd goes wild. Now, Dakota couldn't do it a third time, could she? Barely tap it. Dakota Watson has already holed countless feet of putts today. <laughs> three for three. Proud dad and caddy Bubba Watson said later Dakota just might be a golfer when she grows up and she has dreams of competing at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. She's well on her way and to do that on those unforgiving greens at Augusta, very impressive Dakota. We will see if world number one Scotty Scheffler can putt like that today and hang on to his one stroke lead to win another green jacket. Our final low goes to the sudsy pitfalls of bad packaging. A woman named Cameron Jane shared this video on TikTok of a beautiful meal her mother made. Just look at that Tuscan chicken simmering in the pan. Mm, looks delicious. Cameron's mom whipped up the dish with some Greek olive oil she bought online. Says so right there on the label. But she was horrified to discover the packaging was a little, well, misleading. And only after she'd finished did we discover that it's shower gel. The chicken tastes like straight up soap. <laughs> yes, it was Greek olive oil scented shower gel right down there in the fied print. Now, I am with mom on this one all the way. That's just terrible packaging. Also, do I want to smell like Greek olive oil after a shower? So many questions. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.